Hi, Sagittarius. Hello, hello, my friends. I've missed you guys. How are you? Coming up on the month of June. Can you believe it? I don't I I don't even know. There's like no concept of time anymore. Everything's weird, right? We don't know what's gonna be happening from one day to the next, you know, which, you know, Sagittarius, you guys would be okay with if it weren't for the fact of like feeling trapped and contained. <laughs> Not exactly the, like, the best energy for Sagittarius, you know. You guys don't like confinement as a general rule, right? You don't like confinement. You don't like to, to feel like you have to stay somewhere, you know. And as we're breaking out of that a little bit, I just want to say, Sagittarius, that I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you guys for for surviving through this whole thing. You know, you guys thrive on energy and activity and people. You love people. You love activity and action that involves people. <laughs> so I know like this has been, been tough on you. At the same time, it's almost kind of been needed a little bit, Sagittarius. So it's almost a situation where it forces you to to be a little bit more still and um, you know focus, you know, on on those things. Maybe you didn't necessarily want to focus on before. Okay, those. Uh, deep inner thoughts and reflections you know we haven't had the kind of distractions that um that we're used to having uh we're kind of stuck in that stagnancy which just seems to be breaking up a little bit but i there's two cards that want to come out here so i'm going to pull those cards out too that means you have seven cards so um Anyways, that's just what I wanted to say. I want to say that I'm really, I'm really proud of you guys for, for, you know, making it through this whole thing with hopefully your sanity intact. Uh, I know, I know Sagittarius. I know a lot of Sagittariuses. Uh, you guys are good, good sweethearts. You're good people. And you thrive off of interaction with other people. And um, I'm so proud of you for, you know, being able to hang in there and stick through this. Let's see what's coming up in the month of June for you. First card we have is the King of Swords. Underneath that, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Next, we have the Seven of Swords. Why isn't this focusing? Focus! I think that's good. Underneath that, we have the Queen of Rods. Next, we have the Knight of Swords. And the final two cards that came out together are the Four of Pentacles and the Six of Rods. This is interesting. So, give me a sec. Give me a sec, Sedge. Hmm. 
there's definitely some type of spark of initiation of something for you guys in the month of June. Some kind of information coming in with the King of Swords where it's about cutting through the thick of things and getting uh, to the bottom. Getting to the bottom of things. This is a uh, decisive communication coming in. This is clarity. The King of Swords offers clarity. Mental clarity. It's also, the Swords is also the suit of communication. So you might be receiving some type of message or clarity, even either internally or externally, but I feel mm, mm, it's a little bit of both, actually. And I'll explain to you guys how I'm, how, why I'm coming up with that. Um, but underneath the King of Swords, you have the, the Seven of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles is about taking a look at what you have, right? what you've been able to grow from seed. And Pentacles is typically kind of like a, the suit of Pentacles in general is, 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 is a fundamentally uh, material card. Uh, property, resources, finances, uh, career, um, the physical, so it could even be, you know, your physical body, right? It's everything tangible. It's everything that you can actually touch and feel. So you guys are assessing this for some reason. There is a clarity in regards to this. You're taking a look at what you have. You're assessing what you have. Why does someone assess what they have? Why does someone review that? Well, because the, the reason why someone assesses their, their physical property or their career or their income or anything material like that is because they're thinking about making a change. That's why someone typically does that or they're coming up with some type of plan. What do we want to grow this into? Where do we want to go with this? The next card you have is another seven, and this is the Seven of Swords. Now there, there's a couple of different ways that you can read the Seven of Swords, and, de and depending on the, on the other cards in the reading is how we're gonna come up with the right meaning of this, this particular card. So the Seven of Swords can be a card of deception. All right, it can be a card of someone um, almost like a card of someone trying to, you know, I don't want to say conniving, but you know, it could be someone trying to manipulate a situation. Someone trying to con or deceive. Okay, so that's that's one, uh, you know, like um, someone working this system to try to get the best result for themselves. So that's one meaning of the Seven of the Swords. Another, a different way that you can sometimes take the Seven of Swords is if you are coming up with a plan. If you are the one who is not necessarily trying to be conniving or manipulative, but you are, you know, really taking a, a, a look at your steps closely, um, it's really about plotting and planning to get the biggest benefit, to get the best result. 
And it very well could be that this is you, Sagittarius, because you also have the Seven of Pentacles, right? So you're, you're also reviewing what you have in your pocket, what you've been able to grow, what you currently have, what you can do with that. So it very well could be you assessing the, the best plan, concocting the best plan to get the best result. Underneath that, you have the Queen of Wands. Now, this could be a person, right, who, the, the, the Queen of Rods, and, and regardless of, it, it could be male or, or, or female, because this is a general reading, there's no gender uh, specific. But the Queen of Rods is someone who is passionate and outgoing and uh, she knows what she wants and she's not afraid to go for it. Right? So this could represent you or this could represent someone who is inspiring you and kind of rubbing off on you a little bit and saying you know what, you should go for this, you should do this, right? Uh, rods represents action, creativity, passion. Whether this is you or this is someone who is influ influential in your life, this is someone who is not afraid to take action, who's not even really afraid to be in the, in the public eye. This is someone who's so passionate and that they're they're ready to to just go ahead and and do what they know that needs to be done no holds bar up above that you have the knight of swords coming in again and this is where i feel like there is quick moving communication coming in to you guys something is happening in the month of 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 june where you get some type of information you get some type of clarity that is causing you to assess your situation. It's really causing you to assess your situation and to take, I, I wanna, my, the terminology that I'm coming up with is to take stock, to take stock of what you have and where you are and what you need to do moving forward for the best result because you know Either you know, either this is you, or someone is encouraging you to take action. Someone is encouraging you to take the reins and make a move. Hmm. Underneath that, you have the Four of Pentacles. So... The Four of Pentacles could be considered the Miser card. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> Sagittarius, if you guys are planning on making a move, if you guys are coming up with some type of plan, and you guys are assessing your situation, You might just be deciding to hold on to what you have very tightly, right? Sometimes the Four of Pentacles can come up when we are saving money, right? When we're just not willing to spend one extra dime on anything that we don't need to. What we have, I mean, the, the, so the Four of Pentacles isn't much. It isn't much. I mean, that's one of the reasons why this character is holding on to this pinnacle for dear, to, for dear life. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know? Because he, he, he needs this for something. He doesn't have any free, you know, property or, or money or, or any of that to give away. It's very much, you know, stocking up for a rainy day type of thing. And which would make sense... If Sagittarius is plotting, <laughs> plotting, I, I just get that terminology, plotting with the Seven of Swords to make their move.
But there's some type of information, yet again, Sagittarius, that's coming in in the month of June or, or thereabouts that is causing you to, prompting you to, to take action, prompting you to assess what you have and, you know, assess how you can use that to your advantage. Something's prompting you to get prepared to take action. Interestingly enough, I said that I pulled out another card with the Four of Pentacles. You have the Six of Rods. So this is the card about you took action and guess what? You won. You won. Six of Rods is the victory card. Not only is it, is it the victory card where you can feel like you accomplished something for yourself, but you get acknowledgement from others for what you accomplished. <laughs> it's like coming back from battle and, and getting praise and recognition and being able to hold your head high because you know that you conquered it. You killed it. You killed it, Sagittarius. What are you guys, what are you guys plotting? <laughs> What are you guys plotting in the in or around the month of June, you know? What type of clarity are you getting with the King of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles? I wanna I wanna pull a, a clarifier for that. Why are you assessing what you have? What information is coming in that has caused you to make the decision to assess what you have? I mean, quite frankly, this whole energy that we've been going through has caused everyone to assess a little bit, right? <laughs> Things start to come into question like, oh, dang, you know, I lost my job or, you know, I'm lucky to still have a job, you know, and I could lose it at any point in time, right? These questions are popping up. But I mean, there's something particular for you guys. There's some particular type of, of situation that's causing you... That's, that's coming in during this time that's causing you to start assessing and to start planning. What is it? Starting to plan a move. What can we do? How much can we do? How much do we need? Oh, interesting. This is what Sagittarius is wanting. The Ten of Pentacles. This is the secure family and home card. You know, the Ten of Pentacles used to be referred to at one time or another as the inheritance card. But this is what you guys are, are wanting to work towards. This is what you want. You want security and stability. For not only yourself, but your family and your loved ones. And that's that clarity that comes in. That's that clarity that comes in. This is what I want. This is what I need for both myself and my family. That's where you're starting to assess, how can I take the, the seeds that I've planted, the Seven of Pentacles, and grow it into the Ten of Pentacles? How can I, how can I make more money? How can I get into that property or that home? How can I create a stable family environment? That's really what you want. You know, Sagittarius, if any of you have, have struggled financially, uh, you're kind of tired of that situation. You're kind of tired of the not knowing what you have and how much you're going to have and, and, and possibly even living paycheck to paycheck, right? Which the majority of us do.
you could be tired of like like pinching pennies so to speak I mean but that's what you're having to do that's what you're having to do with the four of pentacles you really have to having to watch what you spend and where you spend it because there's a plan damn it <laughs> there's a plan there's a strategy to it Sagittarius the strategy is to get here Sagittarius is wanting that security and that stability it's important it's an important part of your life right now let's get some clarification on the seven of swords and the and the queen of rods is this you that all of a sudden is miss confidence or mr confidence coming in and saying you know what i'm ready to take action i need to do something or is this someone prompting you to do that Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, you guys are loaded up with pentacle cards. The five of pentacles is the card of being left out in the cold. Wow. These people are literally like homeless. Are this is this your fear? I, I want to advise you, Sagittarius, that this card represents a fear. This card is not necessarily reality. I mean, sometimes this card is referred to as the abandonment card too, right? These people are, are destitute and they've been left out there. But this is a fear. This is not necessarily reality because the bottom line is, Sagittarius, that, that, that maybe you can't tell from, from, from the way this is depicted, but they are right outside of a church. They're literally outside of a church with the windows glowing warm inside and they could simply walk inside of that church and ask for assistance and it would be there. I want you to understand that. I think that's really important for you to understand in the month of June, Sagittarius. You are not alone. You do not have to try to figure this out all by yourself. There is assistance out there. There is help. I'm getting like, a, you know, I'm getting kind of emotional right now because this does feel like a deep rooted fear for me. This feels like a, a very real and petrify, petrifying fear. And that's why you're craving this stability and security because you feel like this you feel like at any point in time you could be destitute and out on the streets with nothing and no one this is not the case yes do you need to plan yes do you need to keep your wits about you yes do you need to to start assessing your situation and and be realistic about it yes Absolutely you do. Do you need to be frugal and save up your money in order to get there? Yes, absolutely you do. But don't do it out of fear. Do it out of the need for success. Do it because you know that you can get to this if you just put your heart and your mind into it and your strength into it and your focus into it. Do it, Sagittarius, because you know you can succeed. This is the outcome. Sagittarius is a fire sign. You have that passion. You have that drive. And if you believe in yourself like the Queen of Rods does, if you believe in yourself, then you can do this. You can do it. 
Now, interestingly enough, also, as I said, this could be something, someone coming in and offering you advice and giving you encouragement. And, and you know, because interest, you know, the, what I find interesting is that, is that the, the Five of Pentacles was the clarifying card. Well, what did I just tell you guys? That this, this, this feeling of, 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 uh, of abandonment and being left out in the cold it's just a feeling. But there are people who can help you. Either this is a strength that you find within yourself, but if you don't have that strength, if you're too stuck in this mentality, if you're too stuck in this fear to make a move, someone will help you make that move. So don't be afraid, Sagittarius, that you have to do this all on your own because you don't. I mean, if you have the ability in this in the skill to figure this out on your own, kudos. Go for it. But if you need to lean on someone for extra strength and support and someone that says, you know, someone that's your cheerleader, literally someone who's very strong, then feel free to do that. By the way, the the, uh, the Queen of Rods is a Sagittarius. <laughs> Just letting you know. She is a fire sign. All right. She has that strength and that perseverance and that passion. You know, this could be asking you, Sagittarius, to find those qualities within yourself at this time to manifest what it is that you're wanting to manifest. Let go of the fear and the, and the, and the doubt. And just really get serious about focusing on that goal. I want to get a clarifier for the Knight of Swords and the Four of Pentacles and the Six of Rods. <laughs> All of those cards together, but but more like the Knight of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Why? Because like I said, the Knight of Swords is, is coming in and is almost what's prompting this situation. Quick moving communication that makes you start to reassess your situation and really think seriously about changing it really start to assess what you have and what you can do and what your options are. So let's go ahead and get a clarifier for that. I don't know why I shuffled these cards again. I just felt like it, I guess. Mm -hmm -hmm. Knight of Swords, Four of Pentacles. There it is. You guys got the Queen of Pentacles. Yes! This is exactly the type of mentality that you need to have to get here. The Queen of, of Pentacles is, is, is exactly who's able to get here. It's that mentality. It's that pinnacle mentality. It's about earthly resources, tangible matters, fruition. Taking an apple and making it an orchard. Taking nothing and making it something. She's the queen of abundance, of material and tangible abundance. And right underneath her lies your victory card. You guys can do this. I have faith in you, Sagittarius. Ooh, when you guys put your mind to something, there's no stopping you. There's no stopping you. It's that perseverance. And the only thing that's going to get in your way of accomplishing what you want to accomplish and having that sense of security and stability in your life, the only thing that's going to get in the way of that is you. 
is your fears. Don't be scared. This is not the time to be scared. This is the time to progress. It's the time to build. It's the time to do what it takes to set those crucial foundations that you're needing and wanting in your life for both yourself and your loved ones. Mm. I love it. I know. I, I, I love it, Sagittarius. I, I totally have faith in you guys. I know you can do this. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Just keep your eye on the ball. Don't look back. Don't look down. Just look forward. Keep that perspective where it needs to be. Keep that attention. attention. Keep that focus exactly where it needs to be. I have no doubt that you guys can achieve your goals. You know why? Because you have the passion for it. You've got the fire. You've got the drive. Don't let anything hold you back. Tap into that drive. Tap into that passion. Tap into that queen. I'm going to pull a spiritual guidance for you, Sagittarius, for the month of June. Nope. Okay. Dearest you, everything is in divine order. Even in chaos, there is order. And we are always in awe of this. For you, though, on your human journey, things can get disorganized in your mind and physical reality. You need to get rid of the clutter. Whether it be too many stories in your mind, too many what ifs, or fearful thoughts of the past or future. Instead, focus on the now. Empty your mind, clean your house, and throw out any object that tells you an uncomfortable story. Discern what you have, sort, purge, clear, and organize. We want you to have space to fill with something better. Spirit loves a vacuum as it gives space for brilliant new energy. Let go of what is not serving you and give order to what remains. See them and know their value. Your soul needs organization in order to keep your connection to us and to spirit free of distractions. You are so adored by so many. We hope you really know that. Yes. Yes. That's all she wrote, Sagittarius. I, I don't even need to say anything more to you guys. I love you so much. I wish you the best in the month of June. Ugh. Um, I'll see you next time, okay?